What is up? This is Ethan here. Back for another video. <clears throat> and guys, I'm sorry that I haven't been uploading for a while. Um, I've been really busy. Um, so I actually haven't uploaded for a while. Um, because I've been working. Working to get to go on a trip that I'm going to be recording vlogs on. So basically I wasn't recording. <coughs> so basically I wasn't recording. Like a, a to record something better later. Okay, so here's what's going So here's what's going on. So, so this week was my last week of school. Technically we still had school next week. But. Um, but next week was when we're gonna go on the trip. I was just talking about. So this, so this week was technically my last week of school, and I had to get in a lot of work. Um, like basically it was all the work that needed done for next week, so we could get grades in. Because the teachers and could grades in for me because of course I'm not going to be, be there next week because I don't know how I'll be at on the trip. So, um, so I just got that done today. Um, today is Friday. So, so technically now school is out for the summer for me. But today was rather a sad Friday because um, today was my last day at Fallout Middle School. So, so, so the reason why I'm of course I'm not going to be here all next week and then over the summer we're going to be moving to Washington, Pennsylvania. I think I mentioned that in a few vlogs already. Um, so yeah, bye Fauna Sweet Middle School. I'll never be there again. But I'll miss you guys. All of you guys that watch my videos that to go to Fauna Sweet Middle School I'll miss you guys, all of you. So I just want to say goodbye in this vlog. And also to announce a few other things. But, yeah, um, and also a shout out to a dude that goes into my school. His name is Tanner Jenkins. Um, he, he's a cool dude. Um, so the reason I'm giving him a shout out is he suggested a few games to me that I should get and record because they would most likely get me a lot of views because they're new games. Um, so yeah, I have a lot of, um, I'm excited for that to get those games soon. I mean, they cost money of course, and I don't have money right now. I only have like two cents because I'm just a kid. But every once in a while, um, I get money for um, helping out around the house for my grandmother. Um, I mean, I call her my Mimi, but she's my grandmother. Um, like for example, um, I think it was right around Halloween. Um, we had a very muddy field, so me and my brother Liam. We went out there with like five, five, um, hay stack thingies. We spread out hay all over the mud spots so nobody slipped on them while they're outside. We got like $12 for that. So yeah, that's like an example of what I mean. Um, every once in a while I'll do that. Um, actually, right now I'm looking for some work. For money, um, but <laughs> um, so yeah, there's that. But speaking of money, um, so there's this cool app that I have. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's an app that basically, I basically allows you to log into your YouTube channel. I'm on that app, and it shows you like like all the statistics of your YouTube channel and your analytics and like how it's doing and anyways so 
so the most exciting but non exciting thing happened. So I logged in there and the first thing that I saw was your estimated revenue one cent. I'm like, yes, I'm a YouTube businessman now. <laughs> I've never gotten money off of YouTube before, but I finally got one cent. <laughs> I was telling everybody in my family, and they were laughing about it, too. <laughs> I don't know, I just thought that was really funny. But, um, I got that one cent off of, uh, one of the episodes. On the first episode of the Minecraft Windows 10 Beta Edition. I got it off of there. And, um, so yeah, speaking of that, um, unfortunately we're going to have to start that series over. I mean, I'm not going to delete the first episode that I had there, but we're going to have to delete, not delete, um, we're going to have to start that series over, because, um, somebody had gotten onto my Minecraft and messed up that world. They griefed it, sort of. I don't know who did it. But, yeah. So I had to delete it, unfortunately. Because somebody was on there and they messed it all up. So, yeah, that's unfortunate. But, you know, well, we didn't really have very much anyways. So. Sorry if my voice sounds really bad because I think I might have a cold right now. But for the past few days, I've had a really sore throat, so I've had like a bad voice. There's not much I can do about it. I've took a medicine, doesn't help, but I will. Um, so yeah, anyways, about that, um, that YouTube channel app thingy. So that's an app that I like a lot because it goes into the most detailed details you've, you've ever seen on it. Like, for example, it showed me, it showed me the age group. It showed me, like, I like, I like the age group of people who are watching me, and how many are male or female, what's my, what are my most popular videos, how they found them, um, and yeah, all that. Right now, there's, so this is a really interesting thing that I liked. So right now, there's people watching me. In some place that's down by Greece and Turkey, I forget what it's called, but, but but yeah, they're watching me there, they're watching me in Sweden, um, they're watching me in Canada, somewhere in Africa, um, Australia, they're watching me in all, in all kind of places on this earth, which I find that's really amazing. But for some odd reason, most of the people who watch my channel are adults ranging from 25 to 35 years old. I don't know why that is. It's kind of odd. Uh, but I don't know. I mean, it's something. I'll go with it. But, another thing that's weird is that currently my most popular YouTube video is, is, um, It's episode 2 of Blimp Wars, which that's kind of odd because that wasn't exactly like the most exciting video in the world. Like, I'm sure there's better out there, but that's my most popular video right now, and I have no clue why. So I've been deciding whether I should um, be doing more episodes on Blimp Wars. I mean, there's a pretty basic point to it. I mean, there's no real goal except to blow each other's base up and kill everybody. I mean, it's not that fun of a game. You just get a blimp to go to the other guy's base and blow up their castle and murder everybody there. That's all you do, I guess. But oh well. I mean, you guys like it. I'll do more episodes of it. It's like a democracy. It's like a democracy. How you can, like, vote for president. And the president with the most votes gets to be president. And most people vote for Blimp Wars. So Blimp Wars will be what you'll most likely be watching more of. So yeah. One thing I want to do more of is the Windows 10 Beta Edition of Minecraft. Because currently that's my second most popular video. And that video was a bit more recent. But 
but that's what I got the one cent off of. So I guess I'll be doing more of that. <laughs> and I can actually understand why people like the new version of Minecraft because probably most people don't have it because you, because only people who had a Microsoft Minecraft and Mojang account got a free sample of it. It's only those people. There's not very many. I mean, I know a lot of people play Minecraft, but do they have a Microsoft and Mojang account? That's that's the twist to it. See, so, yeah, so, so probably not very many people have that game, so they want to see like, what's it like? What's this about? What's this new stuff about? You know. So yeah, probably gonna be seeing more of that too. So um, yeah. Oh, but unfortunately, I won't be. Unfortunately, I won't be recording any gaming videos until hmm. Next, not until, so you're not, so you're not going to be seeing me recording any gaming videos until not this Sunday, but next Sunday, because I'm not going to have access to my equipment until then, because I forgot it at home, so that's unfortunate. I've been starting to forget things a lot recently, and I have no clue why, but I just have been. Um, I forgot my jacket the other day, I forgot my YouTube equipment today. I don't know why, it just, it's just been happening a lot recently. So yeah, um, okay, I think I've been talking enough. Let's talk about this trip we're going on. So, so starting... Starting from early Monday, like like really early Monday, it's until until either Friday or Saturday. I'm not sure. Oh, but from early Monday until Friday or Saturday, I will be recording vlogs at a place, a very special place. Oh, excuse me. It was a, it's a, S island that's off the coast of Maryland. Um, it's like a, um, what are they called, like, barrier islands? Those kind of islands are cool, but it would be better if it was an island than the Pacific. But, um, like that had actual mountains and stuff. But unfortunately, this island is in the Atlantic, and it's just a barrier island that's off the coast of Maryland. But anyways, it's called, um, it's called, um, Hasatik Island. It's, it's really compli complicated to pronounce and uh, write down on paper. It has, like, a complicated name. But it's called Hasatik, this island. And I've never been to just, like, an, like, some random island before. But it's in the Atlantic, off the coast of Maryland. But, yeah. So apparently, that's like a big vacationist slash tourist attraction right now. And I'm like a big vacationist. I mean, even though I don't do it very often, I really enjoy doing it. Um, me, my dad, and my brother, and my dad's friend Vince, we're all going to be going um, to Assateek Island. And I'm gonna be recording vlogs there. <laughs> and basically, we're gonna be camping there, hiking, and exploring the place. So, you guys might be thinking right now, what's so special about that? So it's just an island. It's not just any island, it's a special island. And it's, spe and it's special because it's been reserved as a national park just because the island is literally full of wild horses. And Assateague Island 
is the only island that's on this earth, that's known on this earth, that that is owned by wild horses, where wild horses just roam the land, and it's like their territory. So yeah, that's going to be interesting. I might find a few. I mean, unfortunately, we're not not allowed to like touch them or ride them or anything like that. But I mean, I, I don't know, maybe I'll find one. I mean, hopefully I can record it. But I don't think I'm going to have any way of charging my phone while I'm there. I'm sure I'll figure something out of there. I'm sure I'll be fine. And even if I can ration out my phone battery, uh, I'll to just the important stuff of Assateak Island. So, yeah. Haul next week. Haul next week. I'm going to be recording vlogs of me, Vince, Derek, and Liam exploring Assateak Island. It's going to be amazing. I mean, it's going to be a big experience for me. So, yeah. Um... So, so since this is a vlog, what's going on right now, you know? So, to answer that question, um, so I just got off the computer, um, I was playing Roblox, and actually I was playing Roblox with Gil Skin Shark and Mr. Ocelot. So, so if you guys don't know who they are, they're two different YouTube channels. <laughs> And Gil Skin Shark and Mr. Ocelot, they they do videos with each other. They actually have an ongoing Minecraft series right now. It's called like Dream Eaters or something like that. I don't know, but yeah, Some, something like that. So um. But, from what I remember in their last episode that I watched, they went and explored and, they went and explored in the nether. So, yeah, that's the last thing I remember from that series. But, you should check them out. This, it's on the Gilskin Shark. Well, no, it's just Gilskin Shark. And I haven't checked out Mr. Ocelot's channel yet. Because I didn't know he had an actual YouTube channel. I just knew that he played with the Skin Shark. But while we were playing Roblox, he told me that he had an actual YouTube channel. So I'm probably going to be checking that out soon. But yeah, you should check out Mr. Ocelot and Gilskin Shark. They're not very popular YouTube channels. But they're cool guys. I mean, they're about on the same level as me. It's just that... Gilskin Shark has more subscribers than me. He has like 59, I think. And I have like 24 or 26, something like that. But yeah, he has around 30 more subscribers than me. But oh, I don't care. It's not like a competition or anything. But yeah, um, you should check them out. Gilskin Shark is cool. Um, But actually, I was really excited that I got to play with him because I was literally the first time that I made actual interaction with another YouTuber and like talk to them live and stuff like that. That's the first time that I ever did that. But me, Mr. Ocelot, and Gil Skin Shark, we were all playing together on Trade Lands. Um we went on a pretty cool adventure. Um I've done I've tried to do a series on Trade Lands but Trade Lands just wasn't a very exciting series. Because, like... I like, really, all you do in the game um, to get money and power is just trade. Trade things. That's just boring. But, I mean, as a pirate, you could kill... Kill people for 100 gold to kill. It's not... It's not a lot, but once you get more advanced, you can start doing that more. But I don't know. Um, I mean, when I first started the series, um, like I wasn't very advanced, so I couldn't start killing people just then. I had to trade first. 
And trading is just boring because it takes so long to get to other islands. I mean, yeah. So, um, so what I was thinking, actually, um, as I was speaking, was starting over the series. So, like, stop, not starting over the series, like, stopping the series, stopping the series, and playing solo, and playing solo without you guys, until I get some actual weapons, I mean, like, a boat that actually has cannons on it and stuff, that's actually probably what I'm gonna do, that's a good idea, so then we can get some actual action in there, because... There's no such thing as a series without action in it. That's just boring. I mean, I guess some people like that. But that's just not my style of gaming. I don't like games. Not a big fan of games. Where to actually make progress in it. Like you just have to gather gold or resources. Or just do boring stuff like that. Like I don't like games like that. Like I like... Like, I like games where you have to actually, like, kill things and, like, 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 there's, like, it's action in the game to make progress with it. So, it's probably what I'm going to do with Trade Lands is stop recording until I get an actual, a boat. Get an actual life in that game, you know? So, yeah. But... Gills against Shark and Mr. Ocelot. So, so, so what we did. So I first logged on to Roblox. I didn't know what to do. I mean, I wanted to play. I mean, I wanted to record, but I didn't have my equipment. So wasn't. So I just couldn't record. I looked on my friends list and it showed that Gills against Shark was online. Like, well, maybe I could talk to him. And he was playing Trade Lands at the moment. And I got on Trade Lands and... It just so happened that I got to be on the same server he was on. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um. So I was like, hey, Gilskin. And he said, like, hey, what's up, man? And, um. I don't think he knew who I was. Because, um. So, so usually you watch Gilskin Shark is he just accepts any friend requests he get. I don't know if he knew this, but I commented on one of his videos and said that I was going to send him a friend request on Roblox. And I don't think he saw that comment, but he still accepted my friend request, so he didn't know who I was. And I started trying to and I started trying to contact him, and I was like, hey, do you know who I am? And he just never answered me. <laughs> and once we were on the server and on the same island and actually talking to each other... Like, that was when I actually got to ask him if he knew who I was. And, um, he said, I don't know. And I said, I'm at, I'm Ethan Waldeck. Remember you commented on one of my YouTube videos? And they was like, hey, it's Ethan. Like, yeah, it's me. But, um, so then, um, Mr. Ocelot, he was there with him. So, I didn't exactly know who he was because his username was rock smasher 229 or 228 I don't know something rock smasher but I didn't know who he was and he started talking to me and I just ignored him because I thought that he just so, like some other noob and um until Gil skin asked him if I could invite him into my crew and I said oh do you know this guy and he said yes yeah, my friend and I said okay and I invited him to my crew so me, Rock Smasher, and Gilskin. So we were all in a crew, and um, we had decided um to go on my boat, um to go trading. And and I had two cannons and one spot for a driver, and there was three people on our crew, so it was perfect. So there's two cannons, so two people could operate the cannons, and one person could drive. Gilskin was the driver, and me and Mr. Ocelot were the cannon users, and, um, and I didn't know who he was, because, um, to me, he was just some other noob named Rock Smasher, while we were on the boat, so that was when I asked him if he knew me, <coughs> and he said, I don't know, and I said, it's Ethan Waldeck, and all that happened, and, um, 
once that happened, um, the Rock Smasher dude, um, he typed up in chat. Um, he, um, he typed up in chat and said that he was Miss Rosselot. I was like, oh, it's Miss Rosselot. He's like, yeah, Miss Rosselot. I was like, oh, that's cool. So yeah, that that's what happened. When we went on an adventure, we actually made a daring trading mission to Blackwind Cove. Um, if you guys have watched my my Trade Land series, that's where the pirates are. But on my personal account, um, but on my personal account, I play on there. Hey, Pop. What's up? How are you? Good. Just pudding. Oh. Yep. Well, that looks chocolatey. Chocolatey. Yeah. But anyways, um... So we went on our dairy mission to Blackwind Cove, and if you watch my Trade Land series, that's where the, the pirates hang out. But on my personal account, which is what I was using, I'm the East Maverick. Um, I'm on a, and I'm a part of the I'm the Verdantanium resident. So yeah, I'm a part of them, not Blackland. What's up, Daddy? Making a very long video that's almost a half an hour long already. Why? I don't know. I've just been talking my head off about stuff. Hmm. About the Interesting stuff. About what I was doing on Roblox. But um. Hi, hey, hey. So yeah, I'll, so we were all a part of the Verdantaniums, and we went to Blackwind Cove, and um, and we tried to dock until the Blackwinds they started firing firing cannons at us. I had to use caps lock and chat and like scream, "We're friendly." They're like, "Are you sure?" And we're like, "Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're friendly." They said, okay. They tried to stab nice. my Mr. Ocelot, and once that happened, Mr. Ocelot started to come fighting back, and I was like, no, guys, stop. Oh, and I told the crew, I'm trying to avoid violence at all costs, and they were like, okay, sorry. So, um, yeah, then they all stopped, and, um, so that happened. Um, we traded our stuff. Bought some new stuff. So. Um, yeah, but on our way out of Black One Cove, they just decided to start attacking us. There was one person that was on a real fast boat, and we were trying to make our way out of Black One, and they were like, like chasing us, like right behind us, and they were on our tail. And me and me and Mr. Offlock, we were the cannon operators. We tried firing at them, but our cannon, like, uh, it couldn't go at that certain angle. But, but we sped up, but we sped up faster than them. So, so they eventually had to let off because they couldn't catch up with us. So they eventually just gave up, and we tried to fire at them, but, but, but we kept on missing. So yeah, that was fun. So, so by then it was nighttime and it was like really hard to see anything. So, so Gilskin, we just started driving in some random way, hoping to find some land or some kind of island. Until off in the distance, until off in the distance, I saw I saw trees and I was like, land hell, land hell, and they're like, where? And I was like, straight ahead, and I was like. I was like, "How well, could you get out your map to check to see which which island that is?" And I got out my map, and I was like, "Hmm, I don't know. I think it might be Perth." And it and it did eventually being Perth, and we arrived there by morning. So yeah, that was fun. Um, we sold our stuff, but that's when I had to leave. So yeah, I said sorry, but I gotta go, and they're like, "Okay, that's fine. Bye." I said bye, and I got off. And that's why I'm recording this vlog. So, yeah. Hey. Currently, that's all I have to share with Earlier, you guys. Geez. This vlog ended up being five seconds until a half an hour long. I guess he did, 
So yeah, it's gonna be about a half an hour long. Hey, don't touch those, don't touch those, don't touch those, those are my headphones. They cost $60, so be careful with them. I know. So, um, yeah, um, yeah, that's all I have for this video. Guys, it's half an hour long. Sorry if it got kind of boring, but I just got talkative in this vlog. So, yeah, um, but that's it for this video, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button in the face like a boss. As Jack Tepic, I would say. But, um, leave a like, please. Um, and if you're new around here to my channel, why not subscribe? See what kind of videos I'm making. If you enjoy them, and if you enjoy my videos, then you should subscribe. But if you don't, then don't subscribe. It's your choice. I don't care. I'm trying to get as many subscribers as I can, though. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.